recording live from the Hans Largo studio, broadcasting from the dark side of the moon. So crank it up and get comfortably numb. We're dialing it up to 1.21 gigawatts. What the hell is a gigawatt? And taking you back in time. So tune in and drop out. All right, All we right are now. back. Welcome back to another episode of Hans Largo. So, what we have today, a little special treat, thanks to Jeremy over at Baxter Cycles. Thanks, dude. Thanks, Jeremy. Had a great day. B- had a blast. Sunny. Yeah. Very good. Very good weather. All right, so today, we were initially planning on doing the new Tiger 660 versus the Trident 660. And what we ended up doing was we rode the Tiger 660 and just had such a good time that we decided we're going to dedicate an episode to the Tiger 660. 660. Dedicated. Tiger Sport. We're great, dedicated. Great bike. Yeah. So, getting into this, um, first of all, price real quick, we got $9,400. Mm. Probably not out of the shop because you're going to have extra fees and stuff like that, but that's a done deal there. All right. Let's so, talk them down. Talk them down. Yeah, you can talk them down. Talk them down. Why not? It always works. Seven grand. I'd do it for three. <laughs> <laughs> That's not going to happen. No. All right. So <clears throat> initially, so we looked at this because uh, this is the new motor um, and we've, ha- we've had experience with other Tiger Sports. Yeah. But this is almost half the motor. So, half of it. A little bit skeptical on it. but I was. I was going into this thing. I'm like, eh, whatever. We'll try it out. People seem to be talking about it. It's the new thing. Yeah. It's the new thing. So I was just like, eh, kind of going into it. But yeah. then I was like, whoa. Yeah. So we didn't get a truly fair review on this because it came equipped with a, what was that? The, the Trident Shift Assist. Assist. Which is just like sequential shifting. It's just like no clutch, all gas. Bah, yeah. bah, you bah. don't have to let off the gas. No. Full it's, gas. Yeah, it's basically full shifting. Automatic. You just slap it's it. It's cooler than automatic. Yeah, I would not it's call still it an fun automatic. automatic. Yeah, you just. I call it Moto GP drag racing terror for a six fifty or six sixty. Sorry, yeah, that's, yeah, that's insane. That was fun. So another thing to talk about this bike was how incredibly well balanced this thing was. I was going like three mile an hour doing circles on this thing without like any woo woo. None of that. Oh, it was just Uh-oh. pure. No wobbling. Oh, it was so smooth. It was so smooth. It, was it smooth? It was smooth. <laughs> so this has again the 660 new motor. It has yeah. 80 triple. horsepower. Triple. Triple. 80 horsepower. 47 foot foot pound of torque. Mm-hmm. So how did you feel? Like those specs sound not eh. that impressive. Eh. Not oh, that, impressive. that thing's lame. You know. The one motorcycle has 200 horsepower and right. does wheelies in the front wheel and everything. Right. And then you're like, oh, man, this doesn't happen. But it was fun. It was incredibly ring that, fun. Ring the neck, man. Incredibly fun. Yeah, I had a good time. Yeah. I it was, wanted to wheelie. It did want a wheelie. Yeah, I was like, whoa. I mean, if you're trying there. to wheelie, you could wheelie that thing. Oh, yeah. If you're not sure. trying to wheelie, you could wheelie that thing. Yeah. And uh, a lot a lot of people think that this is like the perfect beginner bike. And I would agree to that because it's – it. It, it's not the beginner like the Ninja like 300 or something like that. Oh, yeah. It's not like a 250 or a 300 where you're just immediately going to get bored of the power. You're going to have fun on this bike. Yeah, that's what it's about. Having fun. Yeah. Ripping around. Yeah. So you get a very respectable bike under 10 grand. It looks, I think it looks great. How do you think it looks? I'm uh, not as... Uh, giving as you on uh-huh. the compliments of the looks. Mm-hmm. It looks good. It also looks like every naked bike with a fairing on it since 2000. Yeah, my I can Yamaha see that. FZ1000 look almost exactly the same thing as that. Yeah. Which I mean, I guess I don't know. I just I, think with the technology available, maybe yeah. we could just figure out something a little bit different on the fairing. Just get a little buck wild. Just get crazy. Yeah. I can kind of, I can kind of see where it's you're crazy. getting at with that. But also from the other perspective, why fix what's not broken? You know what yeah. I mean. So like, what what happens if they try to upgrade and we go back to like uh, early 2000s or 90s 
crotch rockets where they just look. Mm. I don't know. I don't. Bulky. I don't have all the answers. I just have all the complaints. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. Well, I got to say, I don't think I have any complaints. Uh, one thing Jeremy over at Baxter Cycles was saying is that he kind of wished they had named it the um, 660 Trident Sport. Yeah, which different think, name. Yeah, because it's not really, I mean, it says Tiger Sport, but it really doesn't have anything else to do with the Tigers other than that. They should put a drawing of a Tiger on there. <clears throat> Then I would that would be different. You could have the same fairing. I'd stop complaining. If you put mm-hmm. an actual tiger on there, mm-hmm. that would the be the old cool. tigers used to Did. have like claws and stuff. Yeah, they stuff had a like tiger. That. Yeah. Well, they had an actual tiger on okay. there, and that's what I want. Kind of like how they brought back the old Triumph badges on the side of the tanks and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Kind Give of me a, a tiger. Throwback. Yeah. I don't care right if it's a tiger. sticker, man. Put a sticker tiger on there. Yeah. That'd be cool. That'd be all right. That, that way they know. And then they had a sticker that says, Tiger, I'm on the prowl. I was like, ooh. Mm-hmm. Grr. Not, but maybe not for everybody. But, uh, yeah, moving on. So we do have, <laughs> we got some pretty good clips. We got some good, had a good photo shoot with it. Had some good clips of it. Um, How we do on the bullet points? We did maneuverability. Yeah. Maneuvers well. Uh-huh. Power, we did that. We yep. did looks. Yep. What was it? Any other? Uh, the shifter, we covered that. Yep, we got all the bullet points. Yep. Now we'll get into all the clip. Let's do some clips. Let's roll them. Okay, let me. I think whoever was behind the idea of this video was a pure genius. Yes. Who was that? That was me. I set this up. No. Jeremy backed me up. This isn't the Hans oh. Largo's brother's show. Oh, that's right. This is Hans Largo's show. Yeah. Okay, this was your idea. Yes. Okay. Yep. You did set it up with Jeremy. I had the vision. You had the vision, yeah. Okay, moving okay. on. Moving on. What are we moving on to? Well, let's let's just let's give it a grade. Okay. Let's give it a grade. Um, letters or numbers? Both. A7. Oh my gosh, I was just thinking A7. <laughs> Holy cow. We're on the same page. Woo. What does that mean? I don't know, but that's Hans Largo verified A7. On a scale of A to 10, that's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, All I right, like Well, it. you heard it here first, A7. That's right. Uh, the Tiger. I like them little bikes. Yes. Yes. Check them out. Okay. You won't be let down. I already did check it out. I was talking to the viewers. Oh, all right. All right. Click the button. Click the button. That's it for this show. And then you click the button. And then you click the button. And then you click the button. And then you click the button.